As I was about to take this out of the printer, I saw something pop up that suggested there is a new firmware available. So let's see, how do we check that? I think it's in here somewhere, isn't it? Settings, check for updates. Oh, look at that. Did you see it update right there in front of us? We do have a firmware update available. So we'll go ahead and do that. Current version, latest version. I've already read all of the different uh, updates but if you wanted to, you can see there's a lot going on here. You can actually scroll through it right there on the screen. And we'll hit update. Version update failed due to poor network signal. Well, that's unusual. Let's try that again. There we go. Now it looks like it's downloading. That doesn't look like a poor network signal. I think it just choked a little bit. That was the last throws of the 1.1.2. 1 .1. 2.9 version saying, you're not getting rid of me. All right, it still says downloading, unzipping. It's going to be amazing. We're only a minute and a half into this video, basically, or into the process, and it is already most of the way done, it looks like, 40%. Don't get bored. You know, just, just watch it. Let me know what you think of this process. I've heard people say, no, that's wrong. You shouldn't let it auto-update. That's terrible. Don't leave it connected to the internet. Um, You know, I understand. I get it. I want the updates because there were some things that weren't working right. The most frustrating to me is that in the Elegoo Slicer, I couldn't turn on and off the light. I couldn't change the... Uh, nozzle temperature, the bed temperature, that kind of thing. So the, those broken controls. And also I had just some weird anomalous behavior every now and then. But to be honest, I have left this plugged in and turned on for months at a time. And I wonder if, you know, little electrical anomalies don't cause it to hiccup every now and then. Where maybe it's kind of hard to blame any kind of computer-based device that you leave on for months at a time and never reboot all right we're approaching the three minute mark is it going to finish before the video is over doesn't look like it well you're gonna have to subscribe so you can see how this update worked out